Oh, it's so cute when you clean your face. I love that. Ah. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey everybody, it's Casey here. So, today I am 38 weeks pregnant. There are two weeks until my due date. I mean, pretty much she could come at any time and I wouldn't be upset about it. <laughs> there it is, you guys. 38 week belly. Do, do, do. I feel extra big right now. <laughs> so, um, let's talk about the appointments. So as my doctor was checking me, she's like, man, I can't find, she's like, it's hard for me to find your cervix because her head is so low, the fetal head, which is good. Like I want it, you know, I want it to be low and down. Um, so she was kind of moving around and she's like, oh, you're a loose one is what, were her words, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, so I don't really know how much I progressed from last week, you know. I feel like she would have said one and a half if I were one and a half. So pretty much I'm, I'm about the same dilation. Um, but then I asked her um, if I had a face at all, if I you know, have thinned out, if my cervix has thinned out at all. And she said, because she didn't mention anything the last two times, she said I was 75% effaced. So she is, like, I am progressing down there. It's just that I haven't had a lot of contractions, so my cervix is still, like, higher. So she said once you have more contractions, um, your cervix will drop and all that good stuff. Things will be right on the way. And then we talked about um, being induced and... Um, reasons that I would be induced because of medical medical happenings and then um, she talked about like you know an elected elective induction um, if you just are like over it and you just want to be induced like you're just so uncomfortable or it's scheduling purposes or what have you um, and she said that um, legally she can't do that until I'm 39 weeks which I I don't have any intentions of being induced unless there's something wrong. Um, so, and I don't know if that's different in different states. Oh, I have a boo-boo. But she said that Nebraska-wide, all Nebraska hospitals will not induce um, electively until 39 weeks. So, but like I said, I'm not planning on asking to be induced unless there's a medical issue. So, okay, so at 38 weeks, the baby's the size of a chihuahua, which is so hilarious. Logie Bear's hair and eyes both have color, although they might not be the same color as they will be when she gets older. Uh, the biggest symptoms to look at, look for at this point aren't pregnancy symptoms, they're signs of labor, which I don't really think I've experienced any yet. <laughs> it's pretty much just saying there's nothing left to do now but wait, because all of her vital organs and systems are functioning, which is awesome to know. So, even though this thing said the symptoms you're experiencing now are probably not pregnancy symptoms, their labor symptoms, I still have some symptoms that I would love to talk about. First of all, I think I have actually had a couple contractions, like real contractions, um, but it's just, it's hard for me to know since I've never, I've, I haven't been through labor, so I don't know if that's what I'm experiencing. They haven't been anything too bad, but the, the reason I think that that's what it was is because, because it kind of took my breath away and I had to like pause what I was doing. Um, they didn't last more than like 10 seconds and that was it was just the one and that's happened three times like three separate days I've had that pain um, so I, I think there are contractions but I don't know for sure <laughs> so we'll just I'll throw that out there um, she's still been having hiccups like every day it's like the cutest thing she had them for like, five minutes the other day and I kind of felt bad I was like oh honey I wish I could like stop them for you um, but it's just like the cutest little thing um, oh my gosh okay so like I said or like my doctor told like my doctor told me, she's really low. Her head is really low in there. And I'm thinking that she has her hands, like, you know, just chilling like this or whatever. And I'm pretty sure she likes to punch my bladder. Like, holy cow. <laughs> it's, the, it's like the worst. Okay, it's not the worst, obviously, because I know there are worse feelings. But it's, it's really um, like a nuisance because it does hurt. It's not terribly painful, but it's more like a punch and, oh my gosh, I have to pee right now. Like, what the heck? And then I'll go to the bathroom and there's nothing. Like, she's just, like, having a heyday on my bladder. Oh, I still have been having tons of heartburn. Um, I think I take Tums every day. Something that's come back that I have not noticed in probably, like, six weeks um, is, 
like bloody noses and not like dripping down bloody noses but when I blow my nose there's blood I have had a stuffy nose throughout my entire pregnancy sorry if you guys can hear boo he's playing with the blinds behind the camera I but I've seriously had a stuffy nose this whole time so I'm blowing my nose constantly whatever and just in the past like two to three days I've noticed more sorry for TMI but bloody boogers so that's been kind of um, interesting but no like actual dripping bloody noses like I had a while ago still not sleeping very great the past two nights I slept or no yeah the past two nights I slept well um, I only got up like three times to go to the bathroom and pretty much fell back asleep right away but the night before that oh my gosh I think I was up from 2 30 to 5 <laughs> I just could not I woke up to go to the bathroom and I couldn't fall back asleep I just and, and like I have been telling you guys I've been active every day I mean like active enough I've been walking for like 45 minutes so it wasn't like I hadn't had any exercise but I just could not fall back asleep I was exhausted um, it was not fun and I was restless and I was like itchy it was just it was just stupid um, so I'm kind of over the uncomfortable sleeping situation oh okay I've been really emotional the past couple of days okay I don't I think it's partially started because I was so tired and I only had like you know four hours of sleep that one night or whatever but I would I was just like crying at anything <laughs> the other day I'm kind of an emotional person as it is but I haven't been overly emotional most of my pregnancy so I don't know I think I'm just getting really anxious about the labor and delivery and just anxious about her being here like I should say anxious about her getting here. I'm so excited for her to be here, but just like the way that she's gonna get here, I'm like, I don't know what to expect, so I'm kind of like anxious about it. And I've been tired, so I think it's just a combination of all those things. Oh, I mentioned stretch marks in my last video, so <laughs> it's funny. I thought I found a stretch mark on my belly um, last weekend, but <laughs> it just must have been, like we went to my parents' house to swim, and I noticed it on my belly, but I think it was just like the way that my shirt had been sitting on me before I got there. And I had a bikini on, so I was looking and I was like, oh, okay, that's a stretch mark. And then it went away. So I'm like, okay, maybe it wasn't a stretch mark. It was just like a line from my pants or shirt or whatever. But I did actually find real stretch marks, <laughs> um, which is totally like, you know, I set myself up for that because last week I was saying I didn't have any yet. Um, but they're not on my belly yet they are actually on like my hips yeah. they're like right below my underwear line on either side um and it's so funny because that's you know i feel good i feel like i'm not super ginormous or anything i haven't you know gained an excess amount of weight but the thing i'm most self-conscious about <laughs> since i've been pregnant is like my love handle areas and um, that's where I've been getting stretch marks. So obviously I've been growing a lot in that area. Um, so it's a little bit of Logan love on either side of me there. This weekend, the boys that I nanny, their fam their family, their parents are taking them on like a little trip um, for all of next week. So I think they're kind of thinking like, okay, just in case like Casey goes into labor a little bit early, um, you know, we can have the boys off of her hands or whatever um but so that'll be really nice to have all of next week off either way you know whether or not I do go into labor which I kind of don't think I will but we'll see um <laughs> so it'll be nice to just kind of like relax and prep I think my mom is going to help me um I've been wanting to do this for like my whole pregnancy and obviously I wouldn't do it too far in advance but I've been wanting to make a bunch of freezer meals for Drew and I um, for once little Logan is here and we don't have to go out and you know buy food to cook or he doesn't have to bring home fast food every day like we can have like something to just throw in the crock pot that's really easy so I think my mom and I, mom and I are hopefully gonna be able to do that this week and just get some like last minute things done around the house and for little Logan before she gets here so yeah it could be really soon you guys I don't know it's so crazy because I have no idea how to tell and like ah I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. And I just, oh, I cannot wait for her to be here. I cannot wait. So that is it for this 38 week update, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.